Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the F4U1C Corsair sitting at 4.7 battle rating. And you think, well, this is great, man. We've got a Corsair, 4.7 battle rating. It's got cannons. But in the end, in the end, this thing is 15 kilometers an hour. Well, 5 to 10 kilometers an hour slower than the Corsairs at 3.3 battle rating. Because the United States Marine Corps version is 15 kilometers an hour faster in a straight line than this one and this sits at 4.7 battle rating so Corsairs and this goes in general for planes and lines in general sometimes they're much better than the ones below them but there's also cases where the plane that you're actually flying when it comes to flight model isn't better than a plane same plane same Corsair flying at 3.3 battle rating the only difference being that this Corsair has four cannons and the other ca uh, Corsair has six 50 cals now what would you rather fly a Corsair with cannons at 4.7 battle rating or a Corsair with 650 cals at 3.3 battle rating now that's a question ain't it this plane is still fun to fly and I do love my Corsairs but just these cannons do not make up for that 1.3 battle rating difference you know that is just too much of a difference for the quality increase that you get from the cannons when it comes to stopping power the performance isn't better than the other Corsairs the early Corsairs anyway all that being said I flew this Corsair I had a lot of fun in it I, uh, so it's it's still good but um, yeah the 3.3 Corsairs they are Either they are magnificent and too low, or this one is too high, right? Or maybe they should some both be moved a little bit. Anyway, let's go to the details of this particular Corsair, because those cannons are actually quite nice, and the performance at this battle rating is still decent enough so that you can make this plane perform. Now, the maximum speed in the 1C is 550 without web on sea level and 567 with web at 4500 meters you can take her to 487 kilometers an hour with web and 515 with and finally at 6500 meters you can take her to 458 kilometers an hour without web and 475 with now this is in indicated airspeed without Mac. The top speed in a dive is 841 before she redlines and 900 plus kilometers an hour before she rips apart. It is very difficult to rip a Corsair apart in a dive. I would say it's pretty much impossible. I dove this thing down from almost 9 kilometers and you just always, whenever, also from 8k, 7k, you get to 900, just about. There is an amount of drag that just makes this plane slow down in the acceleration in the lower ends of a dive so that you just you just barely uh, make it to 900, almost, pretty much every time. So it's very difficult to rip this plane in a dive. The control stiffening starts at around 600 when it comes to roll rate, so the handling in a dive is very good. Second small tick, it is, they are barely noticeable even at 750. But those are the two ticks in roll rate compression that you get. It is barely something. So the rolling in this plane stays very functional. There's just one issue with the roll rate, which is very good. Um, it starts to roll off center above around 660, 670. This is a problem because, you know, with the handling not being affected, meaning you can roll pretty much till you crash into the ground, you would say this plane can get guns on target very easily even at high speeds but that's not the case because he starts rolling off center above 660 and this is a problem because once you roll off center and you're trying to get your final approach on a target in a dive you start to roll above 660 you pull the plane off center you pull it off target so that's a problem for the plane for the finishing of targets below you at high speeds uh, can be quite frustrating once you get that roll off target so be aware of that it lies around 660 670 after that point you don't really want to adjust your flight path because you will pull it off center you will pull it off the target and your shots will prob most likely they will miss <laughs> now the stall speed in this plane is 110 kilometers an hour which is all right firepower is very good you have four 20 millimeter AN M2 cannons with 231 rounds per gun 
You can also equip this plane with three HVAR rockets, which is all right as well. Um, you, all the belts can be used. There's no bad belts out there. The default belt has high explosive, high explosive fragmentation incendiary shells with uh, an AP tracer shell as well. Universal belt has three APT shells or two actually, and two heavy shells. The ground belt is containing three APT shells and one heavy shell. Air target belt, three heavies and one APT. And then the stealth belt finally has three heavies. So for the most high explosive fragmentation and incendiary shell capacity, you go for the stealth belt, includes the surprise factor as well. The air belt is very nice as well, does give you the tracers, which can be nice, especially if you don't fly these guns or these cannons a lot. And the ground, of course, uh, for ground targets, the universal can be used for air as well. And the default, if you want that nice combination, 50-50. Ammo loads in this plane is excellent. You do have very good acceleration in a straight line. In a dive, it's great. Needs to speed up a little bit, but she's great in a dive. Excellent acceleration there. Uh, and it stops at a certain point above 750. She really starts to slow down in the acceleration in the dive which uh, gives you the effect of very difficult to rip apart in the end which is actually nice because it functions as a sort of a passive uh, air brake right energy retention is excellent both in the horizontal and in the vertical the corsairs are very nice energy fighters as well climb rate in the plane is average the turn time in this plane is average as well, above average with flaps. The flaps rip off at around 470 kilometers an hour, which is not great. It's not bad either. It is what it is. Uh, some planes that are boom and zoomers have very good rippage in, uh, with the flaps. This one uh, doesn't. It's, uh, it's average 470. Roll rate in the plane, as I said, is very good. With that rolling off center, you've got to keep that in mind for your final shot in the lower ends of the dive. Maneuverability in this plane is decent to good. At the higher speeds it's quite good. When she is a little bit slower it's still decent. Overheating in the plane is quite bad actually. When you're running her at 100 uh, throttle uh, she will overheat eventually. When you use web she will overheat quite a bit faster. Um, it does cool off reasonably fast with uh, 69, 60, oh, 69, hear me, 95% around that percentile, she uh, cools off very quickly. So it's not too big of a problem, but when you use Wepalot, she does uh, overheat and um, actually starts to go into the flashing uh, engine in danger mode fairly quickly. So be aware of that, especially in dogfights when, you when you're using Wepalot. Durability is very good, it can soak a lot of damage, the Corsairs are sturdily built fighters and um, yeah, it, it's a nice thing to have, you know, uh, when you've got to take some damage, sometimes it happens, you uh, don't immediately fall apart. Repair cost is 4019 Silver Lions, which is about average, it's okay, it's nothing too bad for a 4.7 plane. Rewards. It seems like the rewards haven't changed since they uh, up tiered this plane. It lies uh, for the RP modifier at 296% and for the Silver Lion percentage lies at around 165. Now these two are not great I have to say. The rewards on this plane um, are not great. The RP modifier is really bad compared to other 4.7 planes and the Silver Lion modifier is below average. Uh, so yeah, it, it's a plane that doesn't research very well and it, it is not a great uh, Silver Lion burner either. It is a Corsair and they are fun. They are great at boom and zooming and energy fighting. Uh, you've got to keep in mind though that uh, rolling off center, which is very, I mentioned that a couple of times, but it is very important. It does pull you off the target and uh, you have to control the plane very well. Here you see that I'm at uh, 694 uh, and I need a couple of uh, re-aims when uh, getting that plane. That is one of the main downsides to its handling in, in the dive. For the rest, she rolls like a motherfucker in a dive and you really can outroll. She's great at, uh, at defensive flying when people come after you and stuff like that. She keeps rolling that... Uh, 
and <laughs> he keeps rolling like a monster. That there is that. That is a good thing to have. So yeah, man, this plane I like them, but it's just like what I mentioned in the beginning is very true. This engine is the same as the United States Marine Corps Corsair uh, with a 2200 takeoff horsepower, 2000 horsepower uh, generally. It is the same engine, the exact same engine as a 3.3 Corsair. There you see it again, the uh, rolling off uh, center. But um, the same, the same battle rating Corsair at 3.3 has the same engine as this one. And that is really something that is bugging me about this Corsair. 4.7 battle rating with the same performance as a 3.3 Corsair. Now one could argue the 3.3 Corsair should probably be 3.7 or something, but maybe this one should be 4.3 then or 4.0 with that same performance. That is the downside of the battle rating system that Gaijin has cocked up. Sometimes it just doesn't make much sense and for this plane uh, that it is definitely true f from my experience. She's still good and you can still make a Corsair work even with uh, with all the downsides that I mentioned it is a fantastic plane with good stopping power even though I heard they nerfed the, the, the firepower of on these uh, cannons a little bit but I haven't flown this thing for a long time since I picked it up again for this video so I cannot really compare back when I flew this thing for the first time I w really wasn't very good <laughs> I was running a one-to-one -one kill death ratio uh, back then so yeah, that that wasn't <laughs> wasn't great. Man, that was on my toaster. Brings back the memories, those beginning days, fun times. But uh, yeah, no man, I like the one C. It's a it's a good plane. It's a solid plane with uh, with some good firepower on her. And uh, whether that's worth a 4.7 and whether you want to fly her as your main in a rank three US, you gotta make that decision for yourself. I would definitely visit her and uh, see what she does for you man because uh, in the end all Corsairs are lovely she's a beauty <laughs> gotta gotta say that so um, yeah we got a couple of uh, AI planes as well on the scoreboards next to the three kills that we got we still got a lot of stuff to do in my line I finally got a, a good um, good reward there blind hunt always good we've got uh, the best squad terror of the sky bulletproof 22,000 silver lines and 6,000 research points I'll see you in the conclusion Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now the Corsairs, man, the Corsairs. I love the Corsair line. The Corsairs are monstrous beasts that can take a lot of damage, that have good firepower, usually are fast. This one has four cannons, which is awesome. They're great in a dive. They are great energy fighters, can be used very well as boom and zoomers as well. Excellent ammo loads generally as well. And the uh, performance is great as well. Not too great as a climber, not too great as a dogfighter, although when you're fast you can make a couple of turns that are really nice. Um, especially while rolling, she's great in, in, in a rolling scissors. Defensive flying goes well in this thing. So um, durability is very good. So all in all, that is quite good. Now there are some downsides, of course. As I said, the overheating, uh, the... Um, battle rating for this thing same engine as a 3.3 corsair the united states marine Corps version has the same engine and is faster than this one and this one is at 4.7 so that is a little bit of a downside i would say the cannons do not really make up for it although the cannons are nice uh, they do not really make up for that and of course that rolling off center at 660 in the dive is also one of the main downsides but for the rest of it this is a good plane that can net you great results. It's a steady performer, she's solid, but with this engine in it, the Corsair starts to become a little bit less excelling at the 4.7 battle rating. I mean, the Corsair at 3.3 is absolutely excellent, but this one at 4.7 starts to be a little bit meh when it comes to performance. Um, but anyway, she's in the end, she still does all right, but uh, you still gotta know that, that this is the same engine as a 3.3 Corsair, yeah. Anyway, great guns, great great fun, and Corsairs are fantastic. I love them. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, 
And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.